Hey there, welcome back. In the previous videos, we looked at how to transcribe your online meetings in Microsoft Stream, right? Um, I do get uh, frequently asked how do how can I actually download this transcriptions and maybe you know email them out or I wanted to put them as part of my OneNote file or include them in the uh, on the meeting notes uh, which are which is part of your uh, teams in uh, teams meeting experience right so in this video let's look at how to download uh, transcriptions and actually uh, convert them into a usable format so here we are on Microsoft Stream and I'm just going to bring up the previous minutes, uh, sorry, the, the meeting that we just recorded. So I'm just going to go into videos. And here I have a, a video that be, I've been working, uh, sh showing you guys. I'm just going to quickly go to the edit, uh, the back end of the video. Uh, for you to do this, uh, the video, update the video details, you have to be the owner of that video, right? Especially if you recorded the video, uh, it gets stored into your Microsoft Stream account, and then you you can do this functionality. If Or you, if you're an admin, you can do that on any of the videos as well. Uh, so within the uh, video edit details uh, section, here you can actually see under captions, there's actually a download option for you, right? You can actually go ahead and download the file. So let's go ahead and download the file and see what happens. So I've just downloaded the file and here it's downloaded into my um, the, the downloads folder and you can actually see it actually downloads something called VTT format. Uh, so it's like, you know, uh, a, a format, uh, a commonly used industry standard format for uh, storing transcriptions. It's the other formats could be SRT files and so on. So you can't really open VTT file um, and, and make it usable, right? It, it, because it actually has timestamps embedded and things like that. So we don't want that in our meeting minutes. So what I would do is, instead is I'm just gonna use a service called Happy Scribe. Um, so it's just go to Google and type in Happy Scribe subtitle converter and uh, you'll get to this. This is actually a free service, uh, but it's not part of your Office 365 subscriptions. So, so this is actually a third party service that we're using. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, so here we all we have to do is uh, we just click on convert another file. Uh, you you can tell I'm actually playing with this a bit. Uh, so now I'm just gonna move this aside a bit, and then go and select my VTT file from here. You can actually see the VTT file has been selected, and click open. And now you can actually select an output format. And here you can either download it as SRT file or a doc a document of a Microsoft Word file or a text file or a PDF file. In this case, I'm going to download this as a um, say a, a document because I just wanted to attach this and send it off to my manager. So I just click on Word and click Convert Subtitles. And in a minute, you'll actually see uh, the file gets downloaded here. Click Allow, and voila, there you go. And if I just open this one up. You can actually see uh, you can actually see the, the the file has been downloaded for us so that's easy right so now you can actually copy this and and paste it into whatever uh, form uh, in, in the medium of uh, sharing you wanted to do either in a team's message or a email or send this word document as an attachment right uh, so that's how you would actually download uh, a captions file from your Microsoft stream However, there is a bit of a uh, gotcha that you can need to keep in mind uh, around this because if I just come back here and actually go into the video itself, uh, say click cancel here. I'm going to pause the screen for a second there. And if I start to edit the, uh, the file and now if I just, uh, sorry, edit the transcriptions, uh, you, you, you have the functionality. Let's say there's actually uh, I didn't I didn't actually say PowerPoint a couple of times here so I can actually go and remove one PowerPoint and click save PowerPoint and partial PowerPoint off. so anyway so uh, that's how you would actually go and edit your transcriptions right so once you've edited the transcriptions if you were to just go back into your video details again you and download the file just keep a, keep a close eye on this this time around, it does download a file. It does download the, uh, the the captions file, but it's not in the right format that we need. So here you can actually see uh, it's it's downloaded the file for me. But if I actually go and try and see the the properties of that file, it you, you know it, it's not usable. If I just go ahead and and uh, go to Happy Scribe and say convert the file. Select a file 
and select it actually not that one here it's not it's not it's not shown in here right uh, that's because it doesn't actually store the the file extension uh, that's weird so what I would do is just click cancel now come, go back to your uh, downloads folder pick up the file that's been uh, just downloaded for you uh, this is the one in my case go and rename the file and just include dot vtt in the file name and now come back into uh, into select file and now you could actually go and this is the file that we just uh, uh, renamed and click open and choose the format all over again in this case I'm going to download this as a text file and click convert and you'll actually see the file being converted now so uh, if if you haven't made any changes to the transcriptions in Microsoft stream it, it'll be downloaded uh, as a VTT uh, dot extension file um, if you've done any changes it does download the file without an extension and it's the file is not usable so you have to just go and rename the file with the dot VTT extension and then use the happy scribe uh, subtitle converter uh, service to convert the file into whatever format that you want and then share the file across thanks for watching my name is Jag Kakalapuri from the modern work group based in Melbourne Australia we help small and medium businesses with their uh, to improve their employee productivity using the Microsoft 365 platform thanks for watching cheers